Hi, welcome back to the Lumia. Today we're diving into a crucial part of WoW which can improve your gameplay a lot. Keybinds. Mastering keybinds can make a world of a difference, so let's jump straight into it. So, first things first, why should you even bother with all these keybinds at all? Well, it's all about getting efficient and speed. Clicking abilities with your mouse may seem fine at first, but in PvP, every second counts. Keybinding allows you to react faster, execute your rotation seamlessly, and overall you're gonna become a better player. Let's talk about setting up your keybinds. How do you do it? Well, head to the game menu, select keybinds, and start with your movement keys. I would recommend not having turn bound to your keys, and instead changing A and D to strafe. And then use your mouse to move around even more, and especially in PvP. Then you can go into edit mode, and there you can click the spell bar, and press quick keybind, and just hold your mouse over the spell, and press the keybind that you want. The goal here is to have all your important abilities within reach of your left hand, without having to look down on your keyboard all the time. To avoid clutter and confusion, consider grouping your abilities logically on all of your characters. For instance, have all of your offensive abilities on one side and defensive on another side. Add-ons like My Slot or Weak Auras can help you to create a clean and organized UI that complements your keybind setup. If you do want my keybind setup, you can just download my slot and go to my Discord, which is linked down below, and just let me know that you want my profile and I will share it with you, of course. And if you want to learn more about add-ons, you should go and check this video. Try to think universally when making your keybinds, like this. Start with movement keys, then you have your basic attacks or healing rotation, and to those keybinds you can add shift and control as modifiers, to have your major cooldowns for example, some people add alt as well, and try to add shift and control to get more keybinds easy to reach fast. Then you can have Q for your defensive abilities and add shift and control there as well, then you can use E to get very fast on interrupt, for example. And same thing here, add control and shift. R is a good one for big cooldowns, for instance, bloodlust or heroism. And you can have C and V for speed increasing and rooting, for example. And as a healer, having dispel EC at hand is very important. And I always use F on all my healers. And when you set up your keybinds, it's all about the practice. Practice, practice, and get that muscle memory going in your brain to remember all of your keybinds easily. And it's important because keybinds is a skill that improves with practice. So spend some time in front of a target dummy and in battlegrounds to get used to your new setup. And soon enough, this. muscle memory will kick in and you will be executing your abilities effortlessly. But very important, you have to remember that there is no one size fits all when it comes to keybinds. You have to find something that you are comfortable with. Customize your setup based on your playstyle. You might want to split up your bars like this and maybe even use weak auras to put a text above them to get awareness in the beginning. And it's all about finding what works for you and when you feel comfortable and you can do your rotation fast and without thinking too much. That's when you know that you are a winner. And there we have it folks. Keybinds is a game changer in WoW. It might take some time to get used to, but it's well worth the effort, I promise you. And if you found this video helpful, you might want to go and check this guide out as well. With that said, I thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day.